Hey guys, what's up? I'm Romina. Hi. So today's a very exciting video because I wanted to share with you some of my passive income streams that I was able to build by the age of 21. The purpose of this video is not for me to brag about my income or what I do, but to help you with ideas and motivate you to start your own side hustles to be financially independent. The main focus of this video today is passive income rather than active income. And let's look into what these are. We're all familiar with active income, it's basically you trading your time for money. For example, if you work for Amazon, their hourly wage is $15. That means you're trading each hour for $15. So if you're working one hour, you're getting $15. If you're working 10 hours, you're getting $150. But if you're working zero hours, you're not getting anything. Passive income, on the other hand, is something where you don't trade your time for money. You could be making passive income while you're sleeping, walking your dog, taking a day off, or doing anything else unrelated to your business. So an example of passive income could be publishing songs. So when you're creating your music, you're not really getting paid for making them, right? And then you upload your music to Spotify or YouTube and it starts generating views. And as you all know, Spotify and YouTube pays for views. So that income that comes from your song is passive income because you're not doing anything else. The song is published, you're just generating income from something that you've done before. With this example, I'm trying to show you that passive income doesn't appear out of thin air, but you actually have to put your effort in first and then generate the income after. There are two ways to create passive income. You either have to invest your time up front or you have to invest your money up front. So now let's talk about some passive income streams that I was able to build now and some others that I'm working on. If you want to build the same passive income streams too, I'll be giving you tons of information in this video, as well as explaining how difficult it is to create each one of them. So my first passive income stream is this YouTube channel. A lot of you may ask, Romina, why is this your passive income stream? Don't you do any work for it? These are great questions, and it's actually really similar to the example that I gave with songs. So when I create my YouTube video, this video, I don't get paid on an hourly basis. I may spend two hours on recording this video, three hours on editing it, and I will not get paid at all. But of course, everything changes as soon as I upload it to YouTube. As you may know, YouTubers get paid from the ads that are put in their video. On average, YouTube pays almost $4 per each 1,000 views that a YouTuber gets. So if a video generates 100,000 views, that YouTuber gets $400. So this doesn't mean that every person gets $4 per 1,000 views. It kind of depends on what content you make. For example, gaming and prank channels could be making $1 per 1,000 views, while educational channels such as business, finance, could be making $15 or more. So some YouTuber could be making $1,000 per 1 million views, while another YouTuber could be making $15,000 per 1 million views. That's a big difference. So this is my passive income from my long YouTube videos, but there's also a passive income from my shorts that I post as well. So YouTube recently announced that they're gonna be paying for top performing shorts on the platform. I started posting shorts back in March this year, and the creator fund just opened. This is a passive income because I uploaded those videos months ago, but got paid for them this month. The creator fund pays from $100 to $10,000 per month. I got paid on the higher side of that range just because some of my videos got over 100 million of views. The difficulty level that I would give this passive income would be from low to medium, just because it's so easy to start a YouTube channel. You just click create and put your name and last name, but then, when it comes to creating content and staying consistent, that's when it goes to a medium difficulty. I would honestly recommend to start a YouTube channel to anyone because you can upload anything you want and you could potentially go viral from it. So let's talk about my next passive income stream and that's investing into stocks and cryptocurrencies. This is one of the examples of passive income where you put your money up front. So for example, I put my money into one stock and that stock price goes up over time. I make passive money. So as you can see, I don't have to do anything. The money is already there and it could be there for months or years. I'm not going to touch it. And as long as the value of the stock goes up, 
I'm making passive income. In stocks, there's also a thing called dividends. Not a lot of companies do this, but if you invest into a company that gives dividends, basically they give you money for owning their stocks. So dividends come from profits of the company. So obviously if you own a percentage of the company, you're gonna have a percentage of the profit dividend. So in terms of the difficulty of starting this passive income, I would rate it a medium. And why I say medium is because you have to have money before investing and you have to know which stocks to invest into. I know a lot of people that start from $100 to $1,000 in the beginning to just learn about the stock market and to have knowledge about some companies. But as they learn more about the stock market, they start putting more money into it. And if you're new to investing, let me know in the comments because I would love to make a video about it and show you how I invest and show you how you can start investing too. My third passive income stream is my TikTok account. As you may know, I have quite a big following on TikTok, which helps me generate passive income. Similar to YouTube, TikTok has a creator fund where they pay their creators for their video views. TikTok on average pays three cents per 1,000 views. So if you get 1 million views for a video, TikTok would pay you $30. This is definitely less than what YouTube pays for 1,000 views, but again, TikTok, it's 15 second videos and YouTube could be up to God knows how many hours. The difficulty of this passive income, I would say is low, just because I've seen people that just create their TikTok account, upload one video, and their video just goes viral. But then again, you have to stay consistent and keep up with your content because if you stop, then that viral video is not gonna do anything for you anymore. The next passive income that I have is very exciting for me and it's rental property. I currently own one apartment in a foreign country where my family and I like to travel to for a vacation, but when we don't travel, I rent that apartment out. This is similar to stocks where you have to put your money up front and then make money from it after. Properties are one of the most common investments that people like to make just because you can make money from renting your property out or if your property goes up in value, you're also making money from it. As of now, I'm looking into more properties to invest into just because I wanna grow this passive income that I have. I would say the difficulty of this passive income is pretty high. And the reason for that is that you have to have a significant amount of money to invest into a property. Even with a bank mortgage, you usually have to pay 20% of the down payment for the property, as well as having a good credit score and so many other things that go into owning a property. And now my easiest passive income stream is the affiliate income. And if you don't know what affiliate is, it's basically referring a group of people to a certain product for them to buy. For example, how I use the affiliate is make a YouTube video and put Amazon affiliate links in my description of my equipment such as camera, ring light, my mic, as well as some other products that I talk about in the video. And if you go to my description and click on one of those links, Amazon will basically know that you're coming from my video and if you buy something, then I will get a portion of that profit. And as I said before, the difficulty level of this passive income stream is very easy because I just put the links in the description and I don't do anything at all after that. And even if you don't have a huge following, you can still refer your friend or family to buy a certain product. And as a quick tip to start this passive income right now, all you have to do is find trendy products on TikTok or on YouTube, make an unboxing or a tryout video, make sure to put the affiliate link in your TikTok bio, in your YouTube description or Instagram bio, and start generating passive income. So now let's talk about two other passive income streams that I'm currently working on. So one thing that I'm currently working on is my Patreon. So I know that Patreon is one of the most popular passive income streams for YouTubers, and that's why I wanted to jump into it as well. So most YouTubers use their earnings from Patreon to invest back into their own channel. That means buying new equipment to better the quality of the videos, as well as making more and better content. And that's why I started my own Patreon today because I wanted to invest back into my channel and make better content for all of you guys. In my Patreon, I'm planning on being more engaged with you guys and share things that I don't normally share on YouTube. On my Patreon, you would be able to vote on types of videos you wanna see, as well as share some of your ideas that I could use for my videos. And I'll definitely 
shout you out if I use some of your ideas. And I also want to share some screenshots of my investments and to show you what I'm currently invested in. So this is the idea behind my Patreon account. And if you want to be a part of it, it's going to be the first link in my description. And the last passive income that I'm currently working on is courses. A lot of you have been asking me on how to start and build a successful TikTok account as well as a YouTube channel, and most importantly, earn money in the process. I've been working for weeks now thinking about how to make the best courses possible. Due to my success on these platforms, I'm not gonna be sharing the obvious tips that everyone says that don't really work, but I'm gonna be sharing insider tips that I learned the hard way throughout so many years. Honestly, if I knew these tips five years ago, I would grow much faster than I have. If you're interested in these courses, please leave a comment just so I know who's interested. I'm not sure when you're seeing this video and if you're seeing it two months, three months later and the course is available, it's going to be linked in my description. So these were the passive income streams that I've already built and working on building. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you have any comment or question, please leave it in the comments. Give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.